What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Event Sevenfold. Yes, indeed, Event Sevenfold fans feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from PNP Product, Lopez Jr. Mario, Crotes, Dominic Andreozzi, uh, Retro Gamerzoid, and John Ewan. They all want to see me react to this song by Avenged Sevenfold called Buried Alive. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, wait a minute, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Green Days and Ham. Really? Green Days and Ham. What the hell? These names, man. And the video has 9 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Avenge Sevenfold, Buried Alive, Lyrics. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Textbook transition from 6-8 to 4-4. Very clean, uh, not disruptive, didn't feel awkward, didn't feel janky. It was smooth and really, really nicely done. Um, the intro with the guitar and then adding in the strings, I like that. I like that. I think that sounded really good. It helped keep the song full. Well, it, kept, it helped keep the intro full, I should say. Um, if the guitar continued to be on its own, I don't think it would have been nearly as effective. I think adding the strings was definitely the right call and a really nice touch. Um, looks like we're, gonna, we're getting into the main song now, so let's see what's gonna happen here. Take the time just to live 
listen when the voice is screaming up much too loud. Take a look in the distance, try and see it all. Chances are that you might find that we share a common discomfort now. I feel I'm walking a fine line, tell me only if it's real. Nice use of switching between 6-8, uh, not even 6-8, it wasn't 6-8, it was 3-4 uh, four and 4-4. Four, four. Back to 3-4, and then 4-4. Four, four. That was nice in the, in the chorus there. Well done, didn't feel awkward. Didn't, again, didn't feel janky, it didn't feel sudden, it didn't feel abrupt. It was just very smooth. Whenever you're changing time signatures like that, that is, that is absolutely key. If you're trying to change time signatures, and you cannot make it feel smooth, you cannot make it feel like that was the way it was meant to be, maybe you shouldn't do it. Maybe you should maybe, maybe you should look for another time signature possibly. Maybe you should think about doing a rewrite and rewrite that part. You know, maybe instead of six, four, maybe do it in three, eight. You know, maybe it's a subdivision issue. Um, maybe look at the chords that you're having leading into each part that maybe that could be part of the issue. Um, when you're changing time signature like that, it should be smooth, just like that was done. So kudos to them on that. Uh, the vocals sound really good. I like the harmonies. I like the call and response in the chorus. That felt good. Uh, the definite uptick in, uh, in energy and output. Yeah, I felt that. It felt really nice. Um, let's keep going here. Let's see where this goes. Until I found solid ground Follow dreams reaching higher Couldn't survive the fall Much has changed since the last time And I feel a little less certain now You know I jumped at the first sign Tell me only if it's real
musicalness. What is musicalness? What does that even mean? Get that hippie out of the ring! Musicalness. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, okay. The, the face shredding solo, as it was so eloquently put up on the screen. I don't know if I'm gonna call that face shredding, but I mean, it was, it was, it was definitely a shreddy solo. It, it, it sounded really good. Uh, very clean, very tight. Uh, the sweep picking sounded good. The arpeggiation sounded good. Um, I mean, every, everything sounded really good. I just, I don't know if I would go as far as say it was face shredding. I don't know if I would go that far. But it, it did sound really good. I, I will absolutely give credit where credit's due. Um, I'm not... Fully digging the song, but I I, I am kind of digging it. I I, I kind of am. I'm not I'm not gonna sit there and say I'm fully immersed in it. Like I like I this is my new favorite song from Event Sevenfold. No, no, it's not. But I am enjoying it. I am kind of enjoying it. It is. It's 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 not like I'm sitting here going, oh, I can't wait for this to be over. Like I have done with a couple of other songs, you know. But this song, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I just it's not my favorite. But I, I am digging it a little bit. Uh, let's finish this out. We'll get to the review. I'm really curious. Musicalness. What the hell does that even mean? What does that mean? Kind of a Metallica feel to it. Shake it down now, burn it all out, throw you all around, get your hands off. Nice edit. What's it feel like? Took the wrong round, watch it fall apart, now you're knocking me down. For you to pay the toll, a price for you alone. The only deal you'll find, I'll gladly take your soul. Mom, it seems sick, sober up quick, psycho lunatic, crushing you with hands off. Kind of had a master of puppets feel to it right there with the uh, placement, uh, the rhythmic placement of, of the words. Uh, his, his, um, yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Not his rhythm, his, uh, his meter. His meter on the, on the lyrics there. Almost had like a master of puppets feel to it. Really nice. Really, really nice. Um... The energy's there, the drive is there. I'm liking this part, man. I'm this is I think my favorite part of the song is the part we just heard. I think that was it. Uh listen, we're gonna have another solo. Okay. Another solo. Second solo. It's a song Metallica, it's frightening. This is now your life. Die, buried, alive. This is now your life. What's it feel like? Strike you from the light. This is now your life. What's it feel like? Die, buried, alive. Let me take in your soul. This is now your life. I could just picture James Hetfield singing that last minute. I could absolutely see it and hear it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Avenged Sevenfold with Buried Alive. This was a request from PMP Pro Duck, Lopez Jr. Mario, Crotiz, 
uh, Dominic Andreozzi, Retro Gamerzoid, and John Ewen. Okay, let's let's just get to it. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give that an eight point five. Yep, 8.5. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Fun song. Great song. I mean, look, I I'm not going to sit here and blow things out of proportion and say, oh, it's the most amazing song I've ever heard in my... No, no, no. No, there are far more songs just from Avenged Sevenfold. There are far more songs that I think are more impressively written than this. This is actually, I mean, okay, the, the time signature, the, the play with time signatures, that was fun. I wouldn't go so far as to say it was complex or impressive, but it was very well done. It was very cleanly executed, and it did definitely add a depth to the, to the dimension of this song. So, yeah, I got no issue with it whatsoever. I think that was probably the most impressive thing about the song, though, was those messing around with, with the time signatures. Um, the vocals were very well done. I, I I think the vocals were really well done. Uh, the harmonies were well done. The call and response in the chorus was nice. It was a nice touch. Um, I think the most impressive thing about the lyrics, honestly, the vocals, was towards the end when we got into that Metallica type feel, and he had that really nice meter work. The the placement of the phrasings, uh, the placement of the rhythmic patterns within his lyrics. Not so much how he was singing vocal, like from a tonal standpoint or from a pitch standpoint, but from a placement and rhythmic standpoint. Really well done. Um, made it all fit, and it all and it didn't sound shoehorned. Like he knew where to end the phrase and start the next phrase. So it, it, it didn't sound like he was trying to cram, you know, 836 syllables into a single sentence. You know what I mean? It, it, it fit really nicely very comfortably fit like a glove in all honesty sounded really nice I, I i dug the vocals on this i really did the intro was nice with the guitar um being accompanied by the strings not gonna lie when i heard the intro start with the guitar on its own i was like uh oh <laughs> uh oh <laughs> but then i heard the strings come in i was like phew okay we're gonna be fine uh because the strings definitely added again another layer uh and well several layers actually and some more depth to the song. So, great job on their part. Um, instrumentally across the board, guitar, bass, and drums, I had no issue with anything that was happening. I really didn't. Um, I heard everything that they were doing. It all sounded just fine. Nothing stuck out unless it was supposed to stick out, like the guitar solos. They were obviously supposed to stick out, and they did in a very pleasing way. But there was nothing other than the solos. There was nothing else that was happening musically in the guitar work, bass work, or drum work that took away from the song. Everything was very conducive to the song, it, and it all added up to a great song as far as layering goes. It, it sounded really nice. Um, to be honest with you, I really don't have any complaints about the song. The beginning did start out a little slow, if I'm being honest. It wasn't quite up to speed with what I like to hear personally, but I understand because they wanted somewhere for the song to grow, and, and they did. It was almost like they reverse engineered it. Oh, I was wondering about this. I wonder if I wonder if with this song, they started with the end and worked their way backwards. It made the made it made it a little softer, a little softer, a little softer, a little softer. It's very possible. I know I've, I we've written songs like that before in the past. Um, so I mean, I I I can I can completely see that happening. But uh, in either case, it, the song did build. And by the time we were about halfway through the song, I, I was really kind of starting to get into it. And then, like I said, those last, like, two minutes, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was absolutely enjoying that. So, yeah, I think it's a great song. I really do. And I, an 8.5, very, very deserving score. So, yeah, 8.5, I feel good with that score, and that's where we're going to stay. 8.5, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. 
it honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.